Hey guys, it's Hink here. And so today we really need to talk about one of the most underrated aspects of overall penile health, whether it comes to size or whether it comes to function, and that's testosterone. But it's not gonna be the way you expect it. And we're gonna break down this paper here that actually has a beautifully written section about all of the important functions of androgens, AKA testosterone, when it comes to penile health, penile safety, penile size, and penile function. So guys, this is gonna be a short video and it's really gonna be important, so please don't miss this one. So guys, first of all, we need to talk about the importance of actual like testosterone when it comes to actual like sexual desire, okay? That's all based on testosterone and even erectile function, guys. There's plenty of papers that have shown that there's a direct correlation between testosterone levels and, and actual erectile function and penile health. In fact, that's one of the reasons why they think that basically your penis atrophies or shrinks and dies with age is because of the decreased testosterone function. If you haven't seen my video on testosterone, guys, I made a whole video on it. But one of the important things is that androgens actually, or testosterone, so guys, androgens, testosterone, it's basically synonymous, okay, for my purposes. It actually controls endothelial function. And by that, I mean the actual cells that line the inning of the blood vessels, that line the actual network of what we call the trabecula in your penis that actually are responsible for your penis filling up with blood and getting hard and forming an erection. Testosterone is directly responsible for that. And what they've seen is that testosterone evokes vasorelaxation, meaning your smooth muscle relaxes, allows the blood flow in by stimulating nitric oxide production and endothelium dependent hyperpolarization factors. Okay, so basically guys, what that means is that testosterone is directly responsible for your erections. Now, importantly, if you deprive or remove testosterone, what you can see is that those cells actually die and you have decreased nitric oxide production. And so what they found is that if you have a hypogonadal man, if you, AKA a man with low testosterone that is suffering from these features, if you actually give them TRT, testosterone replacement therapy or hormonal replacement therapy, you actually have a reversal of that apoptosis or programmed cell death of the penile tissue. So number two guys is that testosterone adequate levels are actually required in order for phosphodiesterase 5 inhibiting medications like Viagra, Cialis, Tadalafil, Sildenafil to actually work. Now what they found is that if you have severe testosterone reduction, these medications will not work at all. So the PDI5 inhibition is actually, in order for that to work, you need testosterone. So here's a quote for you. Indeed, under low testosterone levels, a typical condition of hypogonadal patients, reduced expression of PDE5 within penile tissue was observed, which in turn resulted in a failure of the PDE5-based therapy. So it's not gonna work. As we've previously discussed, up to one in three men, Viagra is not going to work for them because every now and then you'll see somebody on Reddit, well, I tried Viagra and Viagra didn't work for me. Well, that's either because number one, you have inadequate testosterone levels or two, you don't have appropriate nitric oxide levels. And so guys, you know, I, I posted about this paper here before that's actually literally showed that quote, but if you don't have adequate nitric oxide either by supplementation or through diet, phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors are not gonna work for you, okay? It's one of the reasons I created Vigor. It boosts your nitric oxide, it produces your endothelial cells. Two for two for two of the features that we've talked about already in this video. And guys, testosterone also directly regulates the smooth muscle cells within the penis. And so once again, in that trabecula or the, the smooth muscle network on the inside of the penis, it's smooth muscle that stays contracted until it gets the signal to relax. When it relaxes, it lets blood flow in. What they have seen is, uh, you know, I'll read this quote to you and explain to it along the way, but in particular, the treatment of pre-contracted cavernosal tissue. So if the actual smooth muscle is contracted and when you need to get it into a relaxed state to have an erection, when you treat that tissue with testosterone, it lets led to cell relaxation within minutes. And that's regardless of the actual nitric oxide synthase pathway. And so this is a kind of a novel concept that it's actually the testosterone itself that is leading to that smooth muscle cell regulation and relaxation. And guys, arguably most importantly is testosterone itself leads to the prevention and even reversal of things like fibrosis, basically when the smooth muscle cells of the penis actually turns into essentially non-functioning scar tissue. And so there's data that they talk about in this paper in both human and in rat models that when you have a castrated rat, you can have the development of fibrosis. However, when you treat that patient with the, that patient, that rat with the administration of testosterone, that fibrosis is actually reversed. And so guys, this is important because oftentimes, I mean, you know, I have my own, like literally my safeguard product here that I developed to prevent fibrosis, but that fibrotic pathway is, is that if you have penile damage, it actually, you need to, number one, you need to make sure that you get your testosterone levels checked. 
And so you need to check for things like your sex hormone binding globulin, your SHBG, your LH, your FSH, the things that are supposed to help stimulate testosterone production, the things that literally Vitality does are supplement to boost your testosterone, but you need to get these levels checked to see if your testosterone levels are low, you can give you an idea of basically what is the cause of the lower testosterone. And if there's any kind of lower testosterone levels, you need to talk to your doctor about ways to either supplement with supplements that actually work, hashtag vitality, but I mean, I'm, I am being serious here, but also things like if testosterone replacement therapy is right for you because I used to think it was more of an independent pathway that testosterone is more related to like desire and arousal, but it's directly related to penile health. It is very important that you guys have healthy levels of testosterone. So what are some things you can do to boost your testosterone levels? Resistance training, appropriate sleep, appropriate diet, supplements, cardiovascular exercise, all of those things can help to naturally boost your testosterone levels that it, it honest to God, it shocks me how unhealthy the average, I'll just say American male is. They're lazy, they're fat, they sit on their couch and watch TV and don't exercise and then wonder why their thing doesn't work or why it isn't as big as it should be. And that's obviously not everybody, but in general, I mean, obesity is people in America, at least over 50% of Americans are either overweight or obese. It's, it's terrible. So guys, testosterone levels are extremely important for penile health, penile function, penile size, and maintaining that for your life. So please do what you can to improve your natural testosterone levels or talk to your doctor about testosterone replacement therapy. If that's, talk to your doctor to see if it's right for you. But seriously, I would personally recommend that, you know, when you're older, in my case, you know, I'm not on TRT and I'm well into my forties, but because of supplements like Vitality and because of healthy lifestyle choices, baby, let's go, let's get it. My testosterone levels are still very high. So, you know, it's like 850, okay? Nanograms per milliliter. So do what you can guys, protect yourself, protect your penile health. I'll catch you guys on the next Next one, peace and love. And guys, if you're not aware, I have my penis enlargement course. It is available in the description below. It works, it's based on real science. If you're interested, check that out. Of course, all of the links to the supplements are in the description below. Ways you can support me, ways you can support Cali. If you need to reach me, patreon.com slash docking, peakmalephysique.com for any penis enlargement aids you might need. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Dr. Hink got the plug on the health, yeah. Got you thinking about your wealth, yeah. In his office, no stealth, yeah. No